I promised someone that I love very much that I would never go back to being that person. But for you, I'm gonna make an exception. So after what, over a decade of trying to get this remake off the ground, we finally got a look at the new Crow. And I gotta say, I actually like it. Psych! Still fucking got you though! Nah, but for real, I feel like I had the same reaction most did when they saw the images of Bill Skarsgård. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? So my first impressions before the trailer came out, I wasn't feeling it. But now we actually got to see some footage, and I gotta say, eh, it's alright. It's kind of a situation where it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's just not grabbing me. And there's several things that are just holding it back. I mean, I guess there are some positives. For starters, I was surprised by the action and violence they showed off in the trailer. Happy they're keeping it R-rated, and it looks like it's gonna be very bloody and violent. And the action overall might actually be pretty decent. However, one of the main things holding it back for me, of course, is the design. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I've seen people compare it to Jarrett Leto's Joker, and I can definitely see it. It just feels like it's trying too hard to be dark and edgy, and honestly the whole trailer kind of feels like that. Like it's trying to be dark because The Crow is a very dark story, but in the 1994 Crow, it had a very dark and gothic feel and just baked into it, and it felt way less forced. So it just feels like it's trying a little bit too hard. Oh, I guess I should explain what The Crow is even about. Well, you probably know, but real quick, it's about a man who gets killed by criminals along with his wife, and now he's resurrected and he's gonna take revenge on them. He can't die, so it's just a matter of time before he gets to the people who wronged him. And if you watch the trailer, you've basically seen most of the movie, but then again, it's a pretty simple concept, so you can kind of guess how it goes anyway. But something that bugs me even more is that this feels closer to the Crow sequels than the Crow, where the concept of being resurrected and taking revenge is the same, just the characters are different. That's kind of how this feels, but they're doing it with the original story and characters, you know, Eric and Shelley. You know what it feels like? It's almost kind of like the Roadhouse remake, where I'm like, this didn't really need to be a remake, but it probably is, so it can attach itself to a name that people at least recognize. And that's the feeling that I'm getting here. If this was its own original IP and not attached to the Crow, but had the same concept, then I think more people would be open to it, since, like the Roadhouse remake, it just takes the concept and characters and changes everything else. Though I will say I am looking forward to the Roadhouse remake. It looks like fun. But anyway, back to the crow. I can look past the design, I can get over it. Hell, I mostly did that for Jared Leto's Joker. Doesn't mean I like it, but I can at least accept it and move on. But I think this interpretation of the original story doesn't look that good. Again, it's just taking the concept and the character names, and then retelling the story in a different way. And it looks like it puts it closer to the crow's sequels than the first crow. So not really the biggest fan of that. The 1994 crow changed quite a bit from the original graphic novel, but it's much closer than this is. And before someone mentions it, yes, I do know there are several other Crow comics and series that came out after the original, but this one is very clearly adapting the very first one. After that is when they started experimenting, and became very similar to what the Crow sequels became. Just a very similar concept retold in different time periods and with different characters. Now unsurprisingly, just checking out the comments section of the trailer and even the like and dislike ratio, which by the way, you need an extension to actually see the dislikes, so normally you can't even see this. But regardless, people are going out of the way to dislike it because they don't like it that much. I think that says something for the reception. Though there are quite a few more likes than I thought. At one point it was almost 50-50. But given the legacy and cult classic status of the 94 Crow, I'm not really that surprised. Now there are pockets of people who think this could be a pretty decent action flick if the action scenes are as good as they are in the trailer. And I kind of understand that point. Just think it's going to be pretty hard to look past everything else. Now this movie was passed around to different writers and directors for a while, but this is who we landed on. It's being directed by Rupert Sanders. And looking at his filmography, there's nothing that really stands out or blows my mind. So I'm not exactly sure how he handled this film. Since most of his track record isn't that impressive. Same with the writers. Only one of them has credits on films that I'm familiar with. That being Creed 3 and King Richard. The other one only has a writing credit from 2008. So it's not looking too hot in that department either. But the last thing that I'll mention is that no, I don't think Bill Skarsgård is going to live up to Brandon Lee's performance. Neither did anyone else who played the crow after him. So I'm not going to overanalyze his performance and keep comparing him to Brandon Lee's because it's just going to be a losing battle and I don't really want to waste my time doing that. So overall, am I excited? Not really. But I was never really looking forward to this in the first place. Last time I was mildly interested was when Jason Momoa was involved, and he actually did some test photos, and it didn't look that bad, but clearly that was scrapped a while ago. I believe these are from like 2017, 2018. And I put out a little post poking fun at the fact that he looks like Jared Leto's Joker, just to see what you guys thought, and unsurprisingly, it was mostly negative. Yo, is someone comparing him to the DMC reboot Dante? I can fucking see that. So will I be seeing this movie? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. Alright, I don't got shit else to say, so that's it. Peace. And you Joker! Ah! What's to say, champ?